This is what the most consequential moments in the Polaris Dawn mission are expected to look like. The first ever commercial spacewalk. We've been at this journey for uh, two and a half years preparing for this historic mission. Durham, New Hampshire's Scott Poteet is one of four crew members who will take off from Florida headed for the cosmos. Polaris Dawn is expected to travel 870 miles from Earth. That's farther than any person has gone since the 1970s. The walk will happen 435 miles above. This five-day mission is aimed at testing new technologies, including SpaceX's new EVA space suit that will support the crew in the vacuum of space. They say it will inform future designs, furthering the goal of seeing humans live and work on places like Mars. It can't be these multi-billion dollar programs and a handful of suits. Uh, it, it's got to be something that uh, is, is effective, is cost effective and, and, and effective in its capability. They're also participating in some 40 experiments to track human health. For example, the crew will wear contact lenses that measure changes to their eyes, Poteet and other crew members hoping the mission will provide some building blocks for a time when thousands of others travel far away. And I think that's what makes our, our future so bright with space exploration is that it will be someone else sitting in these seats in the future. All right, so let's give you some perspective on how far away all of this is. The spacewalk expected to happen more than 400 miles out from Earth. The Hubble Space Telescope, which has been taking images for decades, is 320 miles from Earth. The International Space Station even closer, but still 250 miles away. News 9 will be closely monitoring the launch. We'll be live on the air and online as soon as things get started. Right now, liftoff is expected to take place sometime between 3.30 and 7.30 tomorrow morning.